Okay, in this section, I'm going to show you how to transfer file from Ubuntu server to a Windows client and vice versa. For this, I'm going to use a client called WinSCP, which is a uh, very simple, lightweight application that provides uh, some sort of file transfer um, management and functionality in Windows. So head over to winscp.net uh, and then click on the download now. Then scroll all the way down and click on download. Once your download is complete, go over to your uh, file explorer and then click on downloads and search for WinSCP and drag it over to your desktop. Go ahead and install it. So double click on it, click run. Accept, click next, and install. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and double click on the icon. And this is going to start the WinSCP manager. The first time it opens, it'll prompt you with this login screen. And notice that you're probably not gonna have any of these uh, sites already pre-configured. What you wanna do, you wanna click a new site. And then you're going to enter the IP address of the uh, Ubuntu server. In this case, I'm going to enter my IP address, followed by port 22, as we will be connecting to a remote SSH server. And then enter your username, and then click Save. It will prompt you to give a name to this session. So I'm going to call it, I'm going to leave it like that, and then I'm going to click OK. And finally, I'm going to click login. It will ask you for a password. Go ahead and enter your password. Press enter. And now you have remotely connected uh, to your Ubuntu server or to your Linux uh, machine. And uh, here you can click on this drop down menu and browse through uh, the remote server file system. Also, you can do the same thing for your local computer. By default, I believe it's set to um, uh, the desktop directory. So for example, if you wanted to transfer file to the uh, remote server, so I just drag and drop, and it's that easy. Okay, in this section, I'm going to show you two ways to transfer files between a Linux client and a Linux server. The first one, it's going to be used in the command line. Uh, we're going to use bash uh, for uh, transferring files. And the second one, we are going to use uh, a graphical user interface. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to click on show application and then type terminal, press enter. In order to transfer file from one Linux system to the other one, we are going to use a command called SCP, which stands for secure copy. So I'm going to say SCP, capital P, and I'm going to use the port number. By default, if you don't specify this option, it'll use uh, port 22. So basically it's using open SSH on a remote server. And then I'm going to provide the file that I want to transfer. Let's say that I want to transfer a file called hello. That text that is in my current directory, and then I'm going to provide my login on the remote system. So I'm going to say jsmith add IP address, column, and then I need to provide the path to where I want to place the file on the remote system. So I'm going to say forward slash home jsmith. That's what I want to place the file. So I'm going to press enter. It's going to ask me to enter the password. If this, if this is the first time you are logging into the remote system, it'll also ask you to accept the certificate. So I'm going to press, press enter and the file has been transferred. Uh, on the other hand, if I want to reverse uh, the process, if I want to transfer a file on a remote system to my local uh, computer, I can recall the command and all I have to do is reverse the parameters that I pass into SCP. So in this case would be the full path to the default, which is 
hello that text and I'm going to place it inside the documents directory in my local hard drive. So I'm going to press enter, enter the password and that file has been transferred. The second way that I wanted to show you is using a graphical user interface, uh, specifically a program called FileZilla. So in order to install FileZilla, I'm going to do sudo apt install minus y FileZilla. And I'm going to press enter. Enter the password. Okay, so once the installation is complete, let's go ahead and Click on Show Applications and type FileZilla. Press Enter. And I'm going to click OK on the Welcome dialog box. Next, I'm going to click on this icon here at the top bar. And this is going to give me the Site Manager. Here, I'm going to click New Site. I'm going to enter the remote IP address of the server. along with the port number. For the protocol, we are going to be using SFTP as we, uh, this is secure file transfer protocol. It will be a secure and encrypted connection. And then for the logon, I'm going to select normal. Then I'm going to provide my username on the remote server along with the, uh, along with the password. And I'm going to save that connection so I don't have to do this again. And finally, let's give it a name. So I'm going to click Renew, and I'm going to call it Ubuntu Server, and I'm going to press Enter. So now if I want to connect, I just click Connect. Now it's going to ask me for the password. Press Enter. Accept the certificates. Click OK. And we are connected to the remote file server. From now on, if I wanted to transfer a file, all I have to do is basically drag the file over to the remote server. And it's, prompt, it's uh, telling me that the, file, that the file exists on the remote server. So what I want to do, I want to override or I want to keep the source. I'm going to click override. 